Hi, everyone. This is Jim Sporer, uh, a member of ISIP, the International Society of Service Innovation Professionals, and I'm delighted to be here with Marcus Varg today. Marcus is well known as the uh, father of service dominant architecture. And uh, Marcus, uh, nice to see you today. It's really been exciting to talk to you. It's my pleasure. Um, Hi, Jim. Yeah, so um, we are working on this book together with uh, Paul Maglio and Steve Vargo called uh, uh, Service in the AI Era, uh, Science, Logic, and Architecture Perspectives, and that'll be coming out in a, in a few months. Uh, but I just wanted to, you know, we've had such a great discussion just now about the book. I wanted to just ask you, do you think this pandemic has accelerated the digital transformation of business with education and retail and government and healthcare online? What, what are your thoughts about the pandemic and how it's accelerated things? Oh, I, I agree. And I, I'm sure it accelerated the digital transformation a lot. And uh, if you know the, the curve from YL who showed new technologies, change behavior, and then business models and, and uh, what we have seen in the last years with pandemic and natural catastrophes, uh, I can speak for Germany in this case, what, that everybody is working strong with his apps uh, in uh, pandemic times, that um, the infrastructures on, on platform-based infrastructures are strongly developed to, to handle natural catastrophes, for example, in insurance, insurance groups and so on. So it uh, pushed digital transformation a lot. Right. And so um, some of the listeners may be wondering, what is service dominant architecture? And I think you've got a great way of explaining the emergence of service dominant architecture in terms of digital attackers on current businesses. But could you just give us the, the high level understanding of what service dominant architecture is? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a kind of reference architecture that uh, structures cooperation as a constitutive process so that uh, if you bring together actors and interacting and, and entities uh, and building use cases so that every use case develops this architecture on a platform too. So it's a use case as a solution. And on the other hand, it's the output. It's a platform uh, uh, raising and building step by step. Great, fantastic. And I see, uh, you know, one of the things we have in common, Marcus, is we love reading books. So do you have a uh, book recommendation for everyone in the ISIP community? What have you read recently that you really enjoyed? No, oh, I, I, I'm just reading from Hari, Survival of the Friendliest, and, and I love it because for everybody who is interested in the service and AI, uh, it is a must read. <laughs> Survival of the Friendliest, I love it as well. So um, thanks, this is just a short interview, but just in wrapping up, I wanted to make sure people, um, you know, you work, you're amazing, Marcus, you're like a CEO who's also a professor, an academic, and, and I know a few of you in the world, but there aren't very many people who, you know, are leaders in business and leaders in academics like you are, but maybe could you just, you know, for maybe people who are starting out their career, um, what advice do you have for young, you know, ISIP members who are maybe still students? How, how can they um, develop both as a practitioner and a scholar and an educator? Uh, do you have any advice for the next generation? Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> thank, first of all, thank you very much, Jim. And uh, it's my pleasure to cooperate with you, ISIP, and, and uh, Steve all the years. I, I think maybe two uh, small recommendations. The first is uh, keep on thinking by yourself. Ask yourself first the questions. What, what's happening? What's going on with new business models, with digital transformation? And uh, the second maybe advice uh, I would like to give is take service science uh, in consideration. Uh, uh, in, in German in universities, we don't see it at all. It's just a small piece of education, but, but it explains so much of what happens today and what's going on then. Let's go for service science would be my last words. <laughs> I can't disagree with you there, Marcus. So thanks so much for this short interview. I'll stop the recording now. Much appreciated.